This is called what it was like. Anyone may want to know what it's like. Even those who turn their heads afterwards look away. Far down inside, everyone holds a secret curiosity covered by public protest, public disclaim. It may not be genetic, but different for each person, yet what I have to tell you is this. Rape with a knife in your back is the slow set of cement in all your nerves. Or, to speak of it again, as though the rapist paints your fear moment by moment until whoever you were submerges in that single molecule, that single coat of terror. If you live and stay sane inside this smothering cocoon, when the paint begins to wear thin, and it will, then other colors emerge. The stark red of humiliation, like that dream of being naked in public, except it's not a dream. The purple rage of your deepest temper, volcanic ash searing growth patterns, changing your seasons, a bleak depression and grief, wide and deep. When these layers pull back slowly under the sunshine of your life, each time you choose to make love against the tiny rape in your heart, each time you do, each time you remember, the single molecule stretches thinner and thinner until it is bald and patches of the earth, green, fertile, promising, slowly sharpen into focus.